Have you heard about Midjourney? Wow, it's awesome. That's all I can say. All you do is tell an AI bot exactly what type of image or artwork you want made, and boom! Just like that, it makes it. And it makes it pretty amazingly. A dystopian megacity with billboards in the background. I'm blown away. This is an app you're not going to want to put down, and today, I'm showing you exactly how to get started. Let's go. Never stop dreaming. Now this is going to be a beginner's guide to show you exactly where to begin. And the reason why this is important is because this is all done by using a Discord server. So if you haven't signed up for Discord yet, do that first. It's easy and it's free. And once you do, the magic is ready to happen. So let's go. So the first place we'll begin is with the Midjourney Documentation Quick Start Guide. It's extremely simple. I'm going to go over this quick start guide and then I'll take you on a step by step on how to make the most amazing images. And the easiest thing to do right away is just click on quick start guide. Once you do, it's going to give you a brief overview on exactly how to access Midjourney. So the first thing, like I mentioned before, is join the Discord. Go directly to the Midjourney Discord. Once you click that, it, it will take you directly to Discord. And then boom, once you do, you're in Midjourney. So you signed up for Discord, you successfully joined it. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is find a newbie's channel. A newbie's channel will be on the left hand side. And like I said before, I'm going to go over this just very quickly with you guys and then I'll take you on a step by step process. The next thing you want to do is once you find a newbie's channel is to start making your artwork process, you're going to be using the imagine command. So all you have to do, long story short, is type in backslash imagine and tell it what you want. Extremely detailed. In this case, you can see the example, backslash imagine, vibrant California poppies, and it does it. So then from there, you just process the job. It's gonna supply you with four images. Once you do, there's a few options you can do. You could hit U1, U2, U3, U4, and that would upscale your images, generating a larger version of the selected image and adding more details. You can use the V buttons, which will create slight variations of the selected grid image, and creating a variation generates a new image grid similar to the chosen image's overall style and composition. And then you could also hit the refresh button and it will rerun the job, giving you a complete different selection of options to choose from. And then the important part, saving your images. So all you have to do is click on the image and save it. Simple as that. And I'll show you. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that when you first sign up for Midjourney, you're going to get roughly 25 free jobs, which means you get the opportunity to use the prompt, create your artwork and images 25 free times. And as you can see, the basic plan is $8 a month build yearly, standard at 24 a month, pro plan 48 bucks a month. So if you find this extremely helpful, which I do, you might want to sign up for the monthly plan. But this might be well worth it. I think it makes some incredible AI artwork and um, try the free trial at first where you get 25 free opportunities and then go from there. That's the quick start guide. I mean, it's really that simple. Check out some of these examples that people have made on Midjourney. This is incredible. So like I said before, we joined Discord. Now the next step would be to find a newbie's channel. So in the Midjourney Discord on the left hand side, I'm in one right now called newbies28 and I'm going to start with a command backslash imagine and right after it says prompt it's going to autofill with prompt type in anything that you want. I typed in a dystopian future on earth. Okay so my artwork is done but a quick helpful tip to help you navigate and find your artwork quickly amongst all of the other users using Midjourney right now. So when your artwork is done and you don't want to have to keep scrolling to find your specific piece of artwork like this one. A terrible dinosaur in the form of a man wearing red glasses with high quality amber. Tasty cheese pizza. Okay, so let's go find mine. So in order to find that quickly, in the top right hand corner, there's a small icon that says inbox. If you click that and you go to mentions, you could see everything that you asked Midjourney to, to create for you. Here's the first one I asked it to create. Money growing on trees. And this is what it did for me. But my most recent one I asked Midjourney to create in a prompt was a dystopian future on earth. And there we go, a dystopian future on Earth. Now let's get a little bit more detailed and crazier with this. So next thing I'll say is a beautiful home in Hawaii with an ocean front view. That was pretty quick. But it's gonna give me four options of a beautiful home in Hawaii with an ocean front view. So my next prompt is gonna be a little bit more descriptive. I'm asking it, a similar dragon in Game of Thrones flying through the sky, blowing fire on a castle. 
I'll hit enter and let's see what it can come up with. Okay, so it looks like it's done with my dragon one. Let me click on that. So I asked it to create me a dragon similar to the Game of Thrones dragon flying through the air, blowing fire on a castle. And it got it perfectly. So the next step would be, say you like this image. Now it's time for you to download it. All you have to do once you expand the image by clicking on it is just right click it and you could say save image as or save or save image to downloads. Once I chose save image to downloads, guess what I have now? That image saved to my downloads. The other command I asked it to do was create me a fashion model on the cover of a magazine. And this is a fashion model on the cover of a fashion magazine. And to be quite honest with you, these people look so real and accurate. From a distance, it's almost hard to determine if they're real or fake. But the cool thing about this is, is that you can essentially download anybody's image. So say I like this one in here. I can right click and save to downloads. And now I have this same downloaded image in my files too now. So not only can you download your own images, but you can look at other people's creative art and download theirs as well. So then the last thing I asked Midjourney to create for me was a scene from the video game Atomic Heart. It came pretty darn close. So on the right hand side, hit that inbox icon, okay, and then hit mentions. And then that's where you could scroll and look at everything that Midjourney made for you so far. And so once you find one that you want, that's where you can click it, right click, and then save your image, and then you're done. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up with Midjourney for today. And again, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. And until then, we'll see you next time. Never stop dreaming.